got you involved? The girl you said got you involved in yeah. acting? Yeah. And that was after you started painting at 12? Yeah. I was pretty lonely. You know, when you feel lonely, you, you're sort of beautiful girl. You figure if you're with this person, perhaps, that will solve your headaches. Did it? It made new ones. <laughs> <laughs> no. When I got nominated for an award, I got two telegrams. One saying, we had a bowl in there, me and friends. One said, if you win, mention v Vinnie's hideout. And the second te telegram was, Rem remember you owe everything to me. Love, Norma. That's interesting. So it was Norma who was checking up to make sure you remembered her, huh? Yeah. So once you got into acting, what doors did that open for you? How did that change your life, do you think? It made me able to talk to people. In the old days, I wouldn't, I wouldn't address anybody if I didn't know you for years. Okay. I, I just was raised very close mouthed To yourself? Yes. Well, your painting is very expressive. So you had been painting since you were 12. Did acting, the world of acting, change your painting? Did you develop your personality or what you had to say through your painting, do you think? You channeled yourself into your painting? I think all communications just go hand in hand. Whether you're an athlete, a musician, a poet, I believe we're all on the same trajectory. We can all hold hands. Different, different forms take different forms. So as long as people are communicating through their genius talent, whether it's acting or dancing or athletics or painting, they're communicating the, the matter of, do you think it's from their soul or do you think it's just from the intellect or it's just a combination? I think it's sensual. Yeah. Oh, do you really? I, I do. Oh, that's very interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. So life feels good to you. Yeah. So when it feels good and you paint, when you paint, let's say you have the two blue boxers up there on the almost like a Modrian type background, the the yellow, the orange and the green and the white, and the red gloves are are, are, are placed strategically within the composition. D does it feel good? Do you know the moment you're done? You feel good when you've made your statement? <laughs> A lot of times I don't know when I'm done. Oh, okay. I had one a, a crit critic in Montreal. And so I don't frame much of my work. And she said, she's pleased that I don't because she feels there's a story before the canvas, during the canvas, and after the canvas. And I took, I was flooded with that, because that's what it means to me, too. It's about telling this story. Is it the story of the heart, the mind, the combination? Is inspired stories? I, I, lend, I lend my heart where, where I can. I gotcha. I, I, I let projects or people borrow, borrow it. And, uh, that's generous. It's very generous. Very rewarding for me. Your paintings, the line of your paintings, it looks to me as if you're accessing another space, a deeper space. Yeah. We all are if we leave ourselves alone and don't do too much doctoring. I do run pretty deep. And they look to me as if they're a pure statement from this introspected or deeper personal space and they're unfiltered and they take on the shapes and the persona of the space. Painting with the boat and the people to hurt. Yes, oh, that's brilliant. They could be going somewhere where escaping from someplace or trying to go someplace new. It depends on us, the view, where we're, where we're placing. I hope to go in some place new. I, I would opt for some place new too, rather than escaping, wouldn't you? <laughs> and then I like the way the I like the way the leaves begin to reach the sky. Yeah, that, uh, that's a portrait of my mom. Mom died when she was 99, 
and I want to paint her, which I have before. But I start with the blue, which is like a color of her eye. But then I felt she's always going to be part of the uh, atmosphere and of the earth's climate. And so I just made the trees sort of defy gravity and lean in an odd way. And that's my mama. That's beautiful, though. That's beautiful. And you grew up in Corona, Queens, correct? So I, I, was, I was out of there when I was 15 and a half. I was in New York. I had a restaurant in the Bronx called Gun Hill Road. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice neighborhood. 35 years. We had a big, big place, a lot of fun. Uh, I even did a, a play there with a friend of mine to bring some more business. Love letters. You ever see love letters? Yeah. Two people read. Yeah. And it's quite gorgeous. That is a beautiful one, yeah. It's written so beautiful. Any two people. So, in fact, they're going to do it here at the local theater. They asked me if I would take an award. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful piece. Yes, it is. You have an ingenious viewpoint and you have a multitude of talents. You have many talents. You paint, you write, you act. I have a new play that I, it's a one-man play, but uh, it's called Artists Found in Port Washington Flat. And uh, I shot the hologram of me, a full-length hologram, a beat-up looking guy. He's the conscious. I come in the theater, interact with my conscious, who's the hologram. Oh, that's interesting. And that's what... Like well, Greek theater. I don't know. Yeah, Greek theater had the chorus. They had the, the, the well, other voice. I, I, I don't call him a chorus. He's a fool. He's, well, he's a pain in the ass. I gotta, I've got to tie myself against him. He's thin, but he don't change. Oh, I got you. I'm okay. the one that has to be bright. Oh, that's interesting. I'm far from that. So. So what made you step out of the mold? I'm sure you're different from the community you grew up in. What made you step out of the mold? I'm very courageous, man. It, it takes a lot of courage to step I'm, out of the mold. I'm a fighter. Uh, and, always. and you have two new paintings upstairs for a poetry book? Yeah. That a, a gentleman from Italy has come in to show you, is that correct? Yes. So your pictures are going to be published in that poetry book, correct? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. <laughs> So where do you get the courage from? Because it does, it, it can be very raw to be in the arts and to say to people, through your writing or through your acting or through your painting, this is who I am, and you're raw, you're exposed, you're nude, you're on display, yeah. and you seem like you're a very sensitive soul. So how did that work for you? First of all, I have a wonderful partner and children. My daughter, her children, were a pack of friends I had for 60 years. They believed in everything I ever do. And then I was a, a, a great fighter from the Marines, even before the Marines. So when did you realize you had this courage and that you're going to have to step out in life? Was it painting that showed, had shown you that you had something different to offer? What made you, what compelled you to step out? What, what? I, I beat, I beat physical fear. I, I knew I could fight physically. That sort of was an early step as a young, young man. To, of, course we, we, of course, in my name, we all, we all could be scaredy cats. Yeah, but I, I really just step to the plate. And, and whatever comes back, you can make the most of it. Whatever comes back. You don't have to win at the play. You don't have to hit a home run. But if you feel the dirt and you feel the tension and use it, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, So uh, what I was impressed with was your courage, the ability. Just I just know how hard it is to be in the arts, but I know people who are in the arts can't do anything else other than be in the arts. They're artists in their heart and their soul. So when they step out the door, if they could do anything else as well, they would do it, I'm sure. 
Did you feel any of that when you were developing your writing or your painting or your acting? Well, back, backwards from what you just said, I had the, the vigor before, uh, before the acting. Mm -hmm. I had the good fortune of studying with Lee Strasberg. Oh, okay. That was my only teacher and oh. mentor, so to speak. From the same girl, she wanted to study with Lee Strasberg. Mm -hmm. She worked in the bar. She, she couldn't get in. Lee was one of her foremost, and the actress still one of the great teachers. So I figured I can get in there anyway. So I wrote in my letter saying, Dear, now I have a memory, I, I don't make it up. Dear Lee, if an acting background is a prerequisite, read no further. Hello, if you're still with me, acting, none, but life credit, credit be, be a first baby for me, B, homicide, indictment, C, was so uh, very flighty. And I said, seriously, I don't know if acting has anything for me or vice versa. But I'm treading water. See me. So he called me to his apartment, Central Park was. And by now I knew he had more on the rail mountain. No, I knew about it, I found mm -hmm. out how to reach him. Mm -hmm. So in those days I didn't talk at all. So he sits me down and he's trying to probe me. And I'm answering one syllable answer. And I go, yeah, no. And he just said, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Says, I don't think he will be an ass acting assistant. So I get up here and he slammed the table. She said, sit down. He said, I never saw such tension in a man's face. Oh, that's he, interesting. He said, uh, but I feel you're an emotional library. He said, he said what do you want to work me? And I grunted you, and I never stopped. That's quite a story. That's amazing. So your your chemistry for life, your ingenious quality, just attracted you to all these other rare geniuses to get out what you had to get out. I would imagine, huh? Lisa, cool. <laughs>